Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. Good morning. Saturday, August 8th. Anyway, look at that ELT. Isn't that pretty? That's what we finished up in the last video. Still have to put in the antenna and had to readjust the length of the phone cable. Well, not the length, just where the slack was. Uh, in a later video, you'll see me finish up that. So, in this video, what we're doing is we're separating the leads and the grounds from all of the power wires in the fuselage. Uh, we're labeling them up and working, well, not all of them. We're labeling some of them, and then we're working on moving the grounds back towards the grounding block. So all the wires that I put throughout the fuselage for power, uh, I've made uh, into twisted pairs, right? Twisted wire, or power wire, uh, essentially cancels out the electromagnetic field of each other, right? Uh, electricity running through metal causes an electric field, uh, which in itself is pretty benign. This is not a lot of amperage, but when you got a lot of wires bundled together, you can get a lot of, you know, you got a lot of interacting magnetic fields, which are really tiny. Uh, twisting them sort of helps eliminate that. So anyway, but that, and that's all well and good. However, once they pop up and they need to either go to the circuit breaker panel or over to the grounding block, yeah, it's time to untwist them. Now, originally I hadn't had them twisted after they'd gotten past this point, you know, forward of the fuel selector, but, uh planning being what it is and me being what I am I screwed it up which hey you know no big deal just easy enough to untwist them put some shrink wrap on them because you know again labeling is everything and you want to have that so basically I've got uh, what is it I believe there's 11 sets of power wires coming from the fuselage I'll go through them all but I'd bore you to death but just trust me it's about a, I think it's either 11 or 12 um, 10? Oh, crap. Okay, let's go through them again. Uh, no. No, let's not. That would be ridiculous. So, yeah, just untwisting these, putting a, uh, putting a shrink wrap label on them, and then starting to do the same with the grounds. So, when the grounds are going to be grouped together and then go back into the back of the panel for the grounding block, right before they go into the grounding block, we'll also be putting labels on all of them as well. It's important. All right, let's see. Uh, updates. Oh, yeah. So you haven't seen it yet, but I got the plane on wheels this weekend. Or actually yesterday. No, yesterday? Two days ago. Oh, God, is it sweet. All right, you know what? Normally I never do this. Would you like to see a picture of it? Here it is. Oh, that's right. I lied. <laughs> You're going to have to wait. <clears throat> Believe me, it's 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 totally worth the wait. Works great, rolls like a dream. Uh, wheels are all lined up. It's beautiful. Uh, the permanent hangar situation is almost in place. Uh, a friend of mine that's uh, leaving his hangars, it's happening soon. So probably within a month or so, we'll have a permanent home, which will be great because I can put all the stuff together and have a little party. Put a rocking chair in the fireplace. It's all set. So what else? Uh, engine. Uh, back to the engine questions. It, more to come. Engine stuff, more to come. No, I'm not getting that new one from Lycoming. I've already mentioned this before. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice engine. But it's actually going to be more than the engine that I'm buying. And it won't be as powerful. Okay, so here I am in the back working on a little bit of the grounding wire. So th remember, for every power wire, you're going to have a grounding wire. And because of that, they all need to be labeled as well. And grouped. Oh, jeez, you hear that fire truck? Seriously, on this island, it's constant. Doesn't help that I live near a fire station. Always with the sirens. Look at me, I'm putting out a fire, yay! All right, so in the next video, we're just going to keep on working on wiring. You basically, this is what you're going to see for a while. I've been saying it for a while, and you're seeing it for a while. So uh, I think we're going to keep doing some more of the labeling. Actually, the wife's going to come out, and we're going to label some more of those power lines going to the circuit breaker panel. So uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you for joining me, and see you soon.